Hey there, Temus Jai here. So, been running around YouTube, looking around, trying to find something fun to watch. And here it is. I found a video by a channel called Boy Boy. So, open it up. See something about related to army. I'm like, okay, it's an American army. That's interesting. Let's see what's happening. Whew. And then, then it starts. These three people are talking about how United States Army and in general the whole war machine is trying to recruit younger population. And they're talking down to it. And I'm like, hold on a moment. They sound a bit foreign. Something's not right. I'd click down and see this. They're Australians. I was like, oh, sh snap. That's, that's, that's unfortunate. Why would Australians talk down? And I look into their videos and they apparently have some guy who was in an Australian military who's being prosecuted and, you know, silenced. I'm like, well, that's contradicting. But sure, it's, it's, it, is, it is some kind of movement here. I'm not going to go too deep. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna talk about this one specific video because if I go spreading out too much, it's never-ending story. I'm gonna go through certain segments of the video which caught my attention and I'm gonna voice my opinion about it. Simple as that. So right now the US Army is in a recruitment crisis and since our last video, they've been spending even more money on YouTubers like us. So we're here to show them to Hassan. Every single nation in the world has a recruitment problem. But if a country is investing into promoting military service, is alternative lifestyle then there's nothing wrong with that it's actually commendable because it's a pathway for a career that's so weird that they're like they're doing a go army ad how much money you think they got from them? at least 50 right 50 50k 50, 50, is probably more you think it's more bro they got like raytheon contracts and shit. like they got money that's true. a beautiful trait you're showing your people oh how to count other people's money oh my god there's so much money holy shit look at them they're getting funded by that and this you know lesson of your life never count somebody else's money that's about it julian army guy he just does different army fitness tests i feel like when you're a fitness guy there's only so much fitness you can do until you like have to inevitably run out of ideas so you're just like ah, i'll just do the army stuff i'll just kill someone <laughs> yeah here we have the torturing a 14 year old boy challenge <laughs> i've seen this guy before though really he did a boxing match against an salt, afghani child salt, uh, yeah exactly <laughs> a child no against salt pappy oh you're pretty much criticizing a tutorial for younger people in in how to prepare for hard and difficult rucksack challenges. I, I like how you're as well in the end criticizing the guy who's making it by telling, oh, look, he lost a boxing match. Wow. Very good. They put a lot of work into it and it still makes the army look boring. Yeah. It's like these people, are, these people are jogging. But you think that would make this more fun? This though, left though. me a little bit speechless when some fucking income poops are saying, oh, look how boring it is. They could have made it more interesting. Bro, this is a possible career for a person who might be interested in. This is what soldiers do. This is their work line. They need to be physically fit. It's how it is. If you're an accountant, you must understand numbers. When you're a soldier, you need to be sharp, strong, and f fucking ready for anything. How much would they have to pay you to do a, do a military sponsorship? 12 mile? Oh, uh, no, no, like, no amount of money. I, yeah, I but what if it, it was such a large amount of money that you're like, I could do terrorism? <laughs> Not terrorism. I could kill you as Some, soldiers. Something, something really big. You know? This is this is baffling me. The bozo on the right just called United States Army as a terrorist. I'm not even American, but that triggered me because first of all, this, this motherfucker doesn't even understand how much military of our America is actually involved in keeping the fucking peace on the oceans. In a lot of countries that we don't hear much about America has influence simply to keeping down the fucking bastards that have KKs, the actual terrorists, the ones that want to kill you. I mean, this is such a big topic and you spat out such a stupid sentence on the middle guy. He would sell his mother if he got enough money 
to get a contract with the military because everybody knows the money from the military especially america is solid as a brick even i know that tell me this is the easy part and not to push too hard the goal is three hours does he have a gun just under three hours oh he does dude america's so crazy they just give anybody <laughs> very basic you know he's not really carrying a gun we all if you really pay attention to it you'll understand and whatever he's wearing is a good representation for a person who's not really in the military to, but sh wants to join and wants to try out his strength in these rucksack challenges. This is literally equipment that he can get himself in civilian life to train a little bit. But you guys, you guys spin it out, as always. Like, the idea of stress training, though, you just, like, if you're tired and stressed, you can be shooting anyone. Like, you need to make a decision <laughs> that that's the right person to kill. If you're tired, you're not gonna shoot everybody. You're just gonna fall asleep at the most important moment when you're supposed to be awake and alert, you nincompoop. I'm here in South Korea with Go Army. We are at the base in Daegu. Such a funny example of, like, U.S. imperialism. That it's just like, I'm in, I'm in the other side of the world and it's the U.S. <laughs> Army. Like, yeah, um, you won't bridge. believe it. When they were the biggest nation on the seas and across the world, colonizing everything they can they did imperialism what we have now is americans used to fight the war in korea they somewhat i would say they did have a stalemate but overall there is a fucking neighbor that is having a really nice conversation with putin and before that there was a very nice neighbor that had aggressive tendencies towards the south and south having a legit relationship with the United States of America being a bad thing to you, I don't fucking know. Get your facts straight. It doesn't go unnoticed. Wait, wait, what combat situations are they in, in in Korea right now? These dogs, dogs don't live that long. They didn't die in the Korean War. These dogs died in the past 10 years. Who, who are they fighting? They didn't die on the line of duty. <laughs> <That's what laughs> They're degrading man's best friend. These dogs don't just stay in Korea. They are actually deployed all over the world, wherever America is, and its allies. These dogs sniff explosive. They are fucking drug sniffing dogs. They are everything that dogs can do. They are lookers. They, are, they can look for fucking missing people. Bloody hell. Be all you can be. Bro, what are you talking about? It's joining the fucking military. You're a part of an occupation in a foreign country. What the fuck? First of all, this country is not under the occupation. America is not influencing Korea in the ways you're saying. And third of all, if America wasn't there, there would be a fucking war. You stupid bastard. So that we can do what we do on a daily basis. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> they put their lives on the line by like sitting in a fucking cruiser, <laughs> blowing up Yemeni positions. Uh, first of all, Yemeni engage civilian cargo transports. Uh, they engage civilian ships in general in the Gulf. Uh, Yemeni targets civilian infra Israeli civilian infrastructure. Yemeni is a radical government in power. Yemenis declared you and me as infidels and deserve to death so yeah what's what the fuck are you on about oh keep going you almost killed him wait, wait. The boat? What? wait, wait, wait what? Ah! She's shooting down the range. There's a fucking. We just dude. went through the clips that I found the most annoying to me personally, and the last one nailed it to me when I was watching it. When people don't know what's blanks, I won't even go in detail with the target acquisition training, but yeah. So overall, uh, the verdict of the video is pretty sad. I really felt not attacked, but in a way touched because I live next to a big aggressor that any day can just decide I don't want to exist and he just comes in and starts a war and this motherfucker somewhere in Australia saying Americans are bad for you know helping a small country like mine have a defense capability because America is in my country holding uh, a deployment simply so that we could look more threatening which we are actually, but my point is there. And then calling 
you know, Korea being invaded by Americans. There's so many things wrong from their perspective that I am not sure if I, we can actually cover everything. Without further ado, thank you for being with me on this video. Like, subscribe, dislike, unsubscribe, everything is welcome. I appreciate you and don't get misinformed by bad content. Pick good shit to watch. Have a nice day.